Hello, my name is Clemens Plaschke. I'm a group leader at the Research Institute of Molecular Pathology, which is part of the Vienna Biocenter. In our lab, we study the regulation of gene expression. In particular, we want to understand the molecular mechanisms that underlie RNA processing. Recent developments in the visualization of large macromolecules have allowed scientists to reveal many new insights into the mechanisms that control gene expression. In the following animation, we summarize a few of these findings to give you an overview on how genetic information is interpreted by a human cell. The human body is made up of approximately 37 trillion cells. All cells share the same DNA genome. Differences in cell shape, fate, and function are determined by a process called gene expression, which interprets the genome. Gene expression in eukaryotes follows four general phases, transcription, RNA processing, RNA export, and translation. Here we see the nucleus, where DNA is transcribed to produce a nascent RNA. This RNA is processed into mature messenger RNA, or mRNA, before it's exported into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, mRNA is translated into proteins, which carry out a wide variety of functions in the cell. The human genome consists of 3 billion base pairs of DNA, and it is contained in the nucleus. This physically separates RNA from protein production, allowing for greater control over gene expression. Let's now look inside the nucleus, where a large fraction of the genome is compacted by nucleosomes. Some parts of the genome remain accessible to gene regulatory factors. Short DNA sequences at the gene start can specifically recruit transcription initiation factors. Multiple initiation factors are required, and each of them fulfills a unique function during this process, which culminates in the release of the transcription enzyme, RNA polymerase 2 or POL2, into the body of the gene. A subset of transcription factors can remain at the gene start after POL2 release, which facilitates the assembly of subsequent initiation complexes. POL2 produces the nascent RNA, and many factors regulate the processivity and fidelity of transcribing POL2. In the nucleus, thousands of genes are transcribed simultaneously. The complex mix of transcripts is distinct for each cell type and cell state. In addition, multiple processing events occur before fully matured mRNAs are exported through the nuclear pore complex into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, mRNAs are translated into protein. I hope this animation conveyed what a fascinating subject gene expression is. If you are excited about research in molecular biology, then take a look at the possibilities that the Vienna Biocenter offers to students and postgraduates. Our international campus with 90 research groups is a hotbed for world-class research and education, and we are always on the lookout for great talent to join us.